Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we have the brand new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Wilderness Package. Trim level package and it is in this lovely lovely alpine green which in practice looks a little bit more like cactus green but I love it. It looks great. This is probably the color to have this car in. Um, the, the gold badging and everything looks great. These have like a cool like 3D effect. They're like lacquered over. It's really, I mean, it, this is, I, I hate small SUVs, compact crossovers. I hate the segment, I hate them. But this, this one I think gets a pass and I'm gonna try to explain why throughout the video. So let's hop inside, take a look at some of the creature comforts and amenities that you get. Namely, these durable seats. Now I'm a big leather seat person. I don't really like anything that's not leather, but this for me gets a pass. It's softer than vinyl. It doesn't feel scratchy or cheap. It's like, it's soft to the touch, but it feels like you could just sling mud all over this thing all day. Like this feels like it's soft and kind of supple, but it's grippy. So it's gonna hold you in place a little bit better than leather and it's gonna wear really well. And this has gray interior, which we haven't really seen much of since the mid 2000s. We've got power driver seat and manual passenger seat, which only goes front back and up down. This one you get a little bit more control over and it's a pretty nice cabin. Let's close the door and fire it up. Got our Starlink infotainment here. Keep fan speed on one, I suppose. And this touchscreen, it's okay. It's really colorful and really, really high resolution. I love it, but it's just not the quickest thing to respond to things like swipes, you know? So swipes, it's, it's not a phone and you do need to treat it more or less like an infotainment. Um, but the graphics are all really nice. Um, it's it's laid out, I think, well enough. Um, there are some things that I don't think should be in the infotainment that are, like traction control. I don't think X mode should necessarily be in the screen. I don't think auto start stop should be in the screen. You know, there's just uh, there's just a few things that I you know I don't think are maybe necessary to put in the head unit. But I mean, this is the direction the vehicles are going, and I'm gonna have to uh, learn to love it, live with it. Got some blank switch gear here, which is weird because this is a top trim, so I'm not sure what that's about. Got paddle shifters for our CVT gearbox. With actually some pretty decent shift action. They've got some good travel and some good click to them, so I, I do like that. Heated steering wheel, lots of physical buttons on the steering wheel. Got some drive modes, SI drive and I drive. And we are going to head out. Down into reverse. That all feels nice. Parking brake off, because I've been told Subarus don't automatically release their parking brakes. But I haven't been in very many Subarus, if I think any, I think this is the first one. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it is. I'm gonna say goodbye to the guys there. And we're gonna see what this is like. Right off the bat, uh, having gotten in this thing, the steering wheel is, is is a small diameter, which means it kind of feels go-karty. It feels like you can kind of just chuck it everywhere. And, oh, the ratio is pretty quick too. And that's why I'm kind of okay with this is because it's not trying to be an SUV. It's kind of taking the approach of just lifting a hatchback, which I think is cool because I like hatchbacks already. I think that they're hugely practical vehicles, and if you lift one, add some cool body cladding to it, and make it actually off-road capable, I think that that's really cool. And, and following this thing, we've been shooting the car kind of all day doing photography stuff, and um, I gotta tell you, following this thing around, it looks so mean from the back end, because it has such great approach and departure angles. You just see all the suspension goodies, you see the rear diff, like it's really quite a cool thing to follow on the road. It, it looks like, I'm not gonna say Storato because that's not what this reminds me of, but I am going to maybe say Aerial Nomad from certain angles just because it has that, that kind of hunchback shape. And it, it, it's so funny because it's got these chunky big tires and this lift on it. And yet it, 
it really is just a hatchback. It drives like one. It feels like one. Suspension is nice and soft and compliant because not everything has to be sporty. We're gonna wait for this blue car. We're gonna go up here and explore some bends because I really do like how the steering wheel feels and how the steering feels generally. It's light, but it's direct. There's no feedback. But that's okay. You, you don't really want a lot of feedback when you're you know, off-road. You're gonna break a wrist. Um, <laughs> CVT is doing its thing, keeping it nice and quiet. We'll hit SI drive and God, that steering is really direct. That kind of takes me off guard. Oh, short wheelbase? This thing is wonderful. <laughs> that wasn't even quick either. <laughs> like that was just driving. And that made me giggle. I'm not used to little short wheelbase cars. I'm used to SUVs, but That's all right. It's chuckable. Bit of lean though. <laughs> oh, and it's floaty. This is a comfortable vehicle. And I suppose while we have wandered our way into a subdivision, we can try out the turning radius. So let's bring her down from speed. Give her a crank. That's great. And the damping when you get to the end of the steering rack is really soft. So you can kind of just, ah, everything about this car is just kind of softened out, but not in such a way that it feels jello-y or truckish or indirect. It just feels comfortable and happy. This is a happy little car. It's endearing. It, it's it's a small wheelbase. I mean, unibody crossover style off roader. And in the world of you know forerunners and trucks these days, it's it's got some some steep competition. I mean, as far as off roading goes. And this just seems to be like a cheerful little well put together package like I, I i when we got in this thing i pushed and just prodded on all of the panels everywhere and for the most part they're they're all soft they're all lovely and none of them creak none of them rattle Yeah, we got some simulated shifts, lane departure warning. Let's try out these paddles actually on the way down. We're in, says fourth, third, second. Ooh, that was a bit strange. I'm not sure what that was. Let's give it a little toss. I can feel those tires, those sidewalls rolling around, and I can feel the geolanders trying to find grip on this slick surface. Huh, didn't really engage first there. Huh. I'm gonna keep it in the sport mode. I do want to use those paddles. There we go, so there's one. Uh, it's gone back to drive. Put it in this, which is manual mode. Hmm. Not so sure about that.
So we're in third, let's go down to second and let's see if we can get some shifts. I mean, sure, you could, but I'm not, I'm not so sure that that's maybe what you'd want to be doing. Yeah, CVT doesn't really make a huge racket. We're going up a pretty steep grade now, or about to rather, and just kind of sitting at two. Let's see if we can put some pace on. Huh, I gotta tell you, from the right foot, that feels a bit odd. But does the job, brings the revs up where they need to be, and then as soon as you can kind of rely on a little bit more torque, then brings the revs right back down. Still have some physical buttons here for things like your climate. Just fine, I just don't love the gloss black. And you do get volume knobs that feel nice. Everything in this car feels nice and well put together. What I'm actually going to do just real quick is just stop, right? And we're just going to see how it gets out of the hole. Huh, that gets out of the hole okay. This does not have the sort of slow CVT 0 to 15. I think that's to do with the shorter final drive of the Wilderness package. It does hurt MPG slightly, but... I mean, I, I think this thing is plenty peppy um, for what you would actually use it for. And I think I think this this absolutely has a place in the Subaru lineup and in the car lineup. It's purposeful. It does really well off-road. The road manners are shockingly still here. It's a pleasant cabin to be in. This is soft. The upper door is soft. This is soft. This is soft. The carbon fiber plastic trim is textured and looks good. If I have to split hairs, there is a plastic seam that runs along this that is not flush. That's really, that's really all I can think of. This is a great place to be. This is a great little car. It's happy, it's fun, it's playful, it's endearing. I, it has won my heart. I really like it. Yeah, I know you do. I really, I like it. I know you do. It's, I'm not used to small cars. Oh, uh, we just got back in range of Hayden's iPhone. Which says wireless CarPlay. <laughs> All right. I think that's about going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I certainly enjoyed this little thing. It surprised me. If you buy one, you'll be riding smooth in no time. It also came with a trailer hitch, but it's only four cylinders. So you probably shouldn't tow anything. My dad said that messes up the transmission. <laughs>